or not. So Martin is going to be our lovely assistant. Absolutely. Starting with Mr. Cuba. Please choose number from one to five. Five. Number five. Question number five. What is one lesson you learned during this Mr. Supranational experience? I learned that friendship, I learned that um, acting from the heart and acting from the soul is the only thing that's going to open every single door in front of you. So putting your heart on it more than your mind, more than beauty, more than sacrifice, your heart is going to open the door. You don't need to look in anything Thank outside. Thank you very much. Okay. Everything is inside you. Thank you. So that's Thank you. Thank question you number much, five Cuba. gone. <laughs> Let me just show <laughs> Now, next one. So we have only four questions left, four contestants, four questions. The next question is to Mr. Mexico. Please choose a number from one to four now. Ouch. Number two. Please. Number two. Number two. But translate this. Okay, so maybe Anita, you ask in okay, Spanish. So for everyone in the audience, would you prefer to be really famous or really successful and why? Bueno, señor Mexico. ¿Preferiría ser famoso o muy exitoso y por qué? Creo que el ser famoso conlleva una gran responsabilidad porque tienes que transmitir un mensaje. So he's saying that being famous um, carries a lot of responsibility. Y no todas las personas tienen la capacidad de hacerlo. Pero estoy seguro que si tienes algo que transmitir y un mensaje que llevar al mundo, puedes llegar a impactar y cambiar la sociedad y la mentalidad de, de las personas. And he said that not everyone is able to carry that responsibility, but if you do, then you can have a message that could really change the world and, and have a message to share to the world. Creo que todos somos diferentes, únicos y especiales, y eso nos hace auténticos. Muchas gracias. Okay, and lastly, he said Thank that we're all different, much. unique, and that's what makes us special. But, uh, Oh my gosh, what numbers we have remaining? One, three, and four. Number one. Number one. Number one. What is your message to young men watching you right now? So my message will be that I'll be sure that I'll be sure that I'll give a message by helping people and hearing being a voice to those in need and in doubt of their capabilities to achieve a better, a better existence. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank Pazzari. you. So two questions remaining. <sighs> okay, Mr. Greece, are you ready? You've got number three or four? I'll go with three. Number three, please. Right, so what is the most important quality a good Mr. Supranational should have? Important quality. Uh, uh, contestant? Yes. Well, uh, it is behavior and attitude because this is what defines the Mr. Supranational. This contest is not about beauty, it's not about how you look, how good you look in photographs, it's how you behave to others, how you treat people, and what can you offer to help. Thank you very much, Mr. Green. Thank you. And the last question. So. There is only one question left. Question number four, so Miss Indonesia. What is the best piece of advice anyone has ever given you? Okay. The advice is speak with your heart, act with your heart. Because uh, everything that comes out in heart is truth and it will be useful for others, for people, for the world, can change the world. Thank you so much. Mr. Indonesia! Thank you very much to our top five. So, so impressive those answers there, and I'm sure it's going to make the decision for our panel.